Hello friends, my name is Allison Peck and I'm with Nye House Education Center. If you aren't familiar with Nye House, our mission is literacy success for all. Today we're going to see that we're going to talk about informational text, also called expository text, and what to do with it. We're here to give you some strategies so that all your children can continue to learn and grow. So, when we talk about informational texts, these are texts that give us information, facts, figures, things like that. So we need to know what to do with it. So I've just chosen to talk about sharks today. Why? All kids generally love new information about sharks. When we're looking at our informational text, what do we need to be looking for? Well, there are a couple of things. We have our subject. Obviously, that is what tells us what we're talking about right? The big idea. Next, we have our main idea. And we'll get a little bit more into that, but really that is the subject, what the passage is talking about, along with what that passage is saying about the subject will give us our main idea. Then, of course, we have our supporting ideas and then our details that go along with it. I've picked a passage today that comes from um, a website called coolkidsfacts.com. And I just put in sharks, and this is some of the information that it gave me. So I think this will be a great starting point um, because this is a, a relatively simple passage. And so obviously this can be put together in textbooks with older students, however you want to handle the informational text that they need to digest. So here we go. You can read along with me. Sharks. Sharks can be really small or really large. The dwarf lantern shark is a baby at 6.7 inches long. The whale shark is the biggest shark in the world. It can grow to be about 65 feet long. Did you know that not all sharks live in the sea? Well, some of them live in rivers, like the bull shark, the spear tooth shark, and the river shark. Amazingly, they can survive in river and seawater. The bull shark actually changes things in its blood to survive in both. Did you know that a shark never, ever runs out of teeth? They have between 5 to 15 rows of teeth arranged in layers. One bull shark was found with 50 rows of teeth. If a tooth breaks off, another one grows in its place within a day. That is incredible. Now, let's think about what all of those pieces are that we need. We talked about we need the subject, the main idea, the supporting ideas, and the details. So, let's think again. Our subject is what? That's right, it's sharks. So, what's our main idea? And remember, to get to our main idea, we're going to look at the subject, which we already said was sharks, right? That's what the passage is telling us. But then what is the passage saying about the subject? What was this passage telling us about the sharks? It gave us a couple of things. Talked about the size, right? They can be really small or really large. Also talked about where they live, right? In the ocean or in rivers. And yes, it told us about teeth. So if we were to say all of those things, size, where they live, teeth, we might call that facts about sharks or information about sharks. And that's going to be our main idea. So now this is how I would like you to set up your thinking. We have our main idea, facts about sharks. We'll call it that. If you like information about sharks, you can use that too. So if we were to build a card pyramid with some index cards, it might look a little something like this. We have our main idea. Our next row is going to be our supporting ideas. And then underneath that, we want all of the details that go with each of these supporting ideas. And what I'm going to suggest is for details, we're not going to write in complete sentences. That's too much information. These are just notes. So maybe we'll use a little bulleted list and just list out some of those things. So let's think again about our passage. We already got our main idea, facts about sharks. So the first thing we talked about again was the size. And some of the details that we read in the passage talked about they can be really small or really large. And it gave us one shark in particular that's tiny, the dwarf lantern shark. It's about the size of a pencil at almost seven inches long. Then we can also talk about the whale shark. It's so big it can be 65 feet long. Next, we talked about where they live. Well, we talked about they can live in the ocean, also called the sea, or in rivers. 
So some details we might want to put there is that, yes, they can live in an ocean or a river, and the bull shark can actually change the makeup of its blood to live in both of these areas, freshwater and saltwater. The last thing we talked about, it, teeth. Do sharks ever run out of teeth? No. We learned that they never run out of teeth. They have between five and 15 rows of teeth at all times. And if one breaks off, another one grows in about a day. Now, you'll notice that I didn't put every little detail. That's really up to you to decide what you want to add. I just tried to grab the most important things, but there were also some more minor details that were there, so you can add those if you want. So once we have our card pyramid like this, you're going to want to number them, and I'll show you why. So if we were to number our cards, you can see facts about sharks will be number one. The size is number two, and then the details that go with that are number three. Where they live, you want to put that as number four, and then the details that go with that is number five. The next uh, supporting idea you want to label as number six when we're talking about teeth, and then number seven will be the details about that. And again, my students usually just use index cards for this. If they're younger, they can use whole pieces of paper. That's really up to the teacher. Okay, now that you have them numbered, go ahead and stack them up with number one being your first card. And it should look something like this. Now, what we want to do, we want to practice an oral summary, right? Because we know that if we can't say it, we surely can't write it. And maybe we're going to get into a written summary after this. So let's just practice like we're just doing an oral presentation for our class. So here we go. I'll model and then you can take a turn. Today we're going to talk about facts about sharks. First thing I'd like to talk about is the size. We know that sharks can be very small to very large. The dwarf lantern shark is about seven inches long as compared to the whale shark, which can be 65 feet long. Sharks can live in multiple places. They can live in an ocean or a river. The bull shark can change its blood to live in both the ocean or rivers. Sharks also have some very interesting teeth. As a fact, they never run out of teeth. They have five to 15 rows at all times. And if one breaks off, another grows in about a day. And that is our information about sharks. So now what you can have your students do, if they were to lay their cards back into a pyramid, they would easily be able to write a summary, especially after they've practiced the oral presentation of this a few times. They've already got the words. They have the information in front of them. Now they can just put it into a summary. Wow, there it is. Great job. So thank you, and that's just a little tip of ways that we can organize our informational or expository text. And I want you to just continue to check back here at nighthouse.org for more strategies. Or to find out more about what to do, you can reach out to us as well at info at Take care, everyone.